<clears throat> this video is about how what I did is this is just for beginners and like as you can see I done pulled the primer out this is the primer that sets inside the shotgun hole this is a shotgun hole here's the primer that goes into the bottom and then your powder sets on top of the primer for igniting the shot and how this works this is a clay buster wad and is typically not for that and I'm going to show you the deal with this if you look right here what this does inside of the shotgun shell this is just for explanation not really usable what it does you have the primer in the bottom your powder and then the wad sits on top of the powder to separate the powder and then your shot goes in here and you put your shot in here and then when the wad's inside and you have your primer your powder is separated right here and then your shots right here then you're ready to crimp it and you have to go by recipes different recipes is different holes it has you have different holes like federal remington winchester and so on and then you also have different wads like a wad like this can be used for reloading reloading like up to optimum load is one and one eighth ounce for reloading and if you reload lead or steel shot it's a little bit different in weight and the reason i bought this it's a wad buster as you can see i bought it off amazon it costs 25 bucks and the purpose of buying this type of wad is i can use it for hunting applications and you can also reload double odd buckshot because it does work universal that way just like some of the powders is like you have hogged on universal and different powders and different powders burn at a different consistency and the consistency is how fast the powder burns which ignites the primer the primer ignites the powder and then once the powder goes off it projects the buckshot slug double eye buckshot or whatever it is but anyway this is just a short video for people beginning reloading and i typically i mean if you got money you can go all out and buy the electronical reloading devices that feed pretty quickly but preference me learning what i've did i use a max 600 junior it was given to me by a cousin i have one this one press is for reloading four tens the other press is for doing 12 gauge and it even though it's given to me i still had to spend 120 dollars back when i could actually work before things took a different way but anyway i'm gonna wrap this up this is just for beginners and some ideas about how shot shell reloading works and that is all everybody have a wonderful day